Hello, um, those of you at home, welcome to Monday. Here's some of your directions. I can analyze how nukes have contributed to conflict in the Middle East, and I can explain the effects sanctions have on Iranians. So you're going to complete your warm up, open through, uh, open and look through the quick notes before assignment link, and complete nukes and sanctions activity. So your warm up uh, is what are nukes, nuclear weapons, and why do countries think it's so important to have them? Once you've answered that, you open up this link quickly. Here you're just going to see two little notes that we would have went over in class, the first one being sanctions. So if you haven't heard of those before, it is punishments or penalties against a government or group of people who have broken rules or are a threat. So for an example, because a country is doing something harmful to its own people, like we've been learning about in Iran or other groups, so those things, how they're having those proxy wars and kind of messing up conflicts in other countries, so because of that, no other countries will trade or work with them, which hurts their economy. So the idea behind it is, is if you punish them that way, their economy suffers, and then the people in their country or, uh, will start to be upset with the government or start to demand more from the government, and that hopefully leads to more peaceful talks. So instead of you know attacking a country for doing wrong, you can kind of put them in sanctions, which just once again means that you're not trading with them and um, kind of slowing them down that way. And then lastly, we have a nuclear deterrent. So the theory that if a country has a nuke, other countries won't be able to attack and invade them anymore because they can return fire and cause equal damage. So remember back to our Korea unit, North Korea is very paranoid about its neighbors and America, so they want such a strong army so no one can ever topple their government. Um, as you'll be learning today, Iran wants nukes because they want to, you know, defend themselves, they would say, against neighbors who are aggressive. Um, but a little extra point here, in all of history, only one country has ever used a nuke on another country. When and who? Uh, America bombing Japan to end World War II. So countries have hundreds, if not thousands of nukes, but they don't actually use them against each other. They honestly just use them because if you have one, people can't mess with you. And when you're done looking through that, you go back to where you get your assignment and you open up your nukes and sanctions activity. As always, make sure to put your name in there so your teacher can actually grade your work. And then similar to the other Google Forms we do, you have some reading sometimes with some quick questions. Don't rush through those. Make sure you actually read carefully. The answers are right there in front of you. You have a map to look through. And then later on, you're going to have a video and this image to figure this out. And then submit when you're finished to get your grade.